and uh let's uh hop back into some good old uh final fantasy here so right now we need to head over to uh hand in this story quest to see if there's anybody online nobody's online i guess everybody has lives the last few days <laughs> that's all right and this over by battleship but i can't find it i never played it i think my my girlfriend's like dad like loves that game and her brother i think they used to play it a ton all right let's see here where are we headed for this one here headed over here Oh man, all the way back here again, back from the wood. I would love to, when, when we have our own uh, place and set up and everything, I would love to be able to set up a, uh, a table with like a camera on it or something and do like, I don't know, like board night board game night Fridays or something like that and just like play board games together I think that would be really really fun um, I don't know if it would be the best for chat but I'm sure like kind of building something off that would be uh, would be neat not everybody will like it but it would be like a niche you know not everybody does that but I think that would be fun though. Who knows though? <laughs> Who knows if that'll happen though? I need to first need to figure all that other stuff out. I would like to have like two tables. One that has like uh I'd love to have one table that has like a continuous game on it like one that you set up and you play over multiple sessions and I would like to have another table that's set up for like uh, impromptu games so like if we wanted to play like a quick car a quick card game or something like that like that could be used um, and other stuff yeah welcome back to those <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, I could kind of see it. I mean, honestly, you could say like any MMO kind of looks like RuneScape because RuneScape is an MMO as well, but more of like a, uh, a weebish MMO here. Also, I want to try D&D. Sounds fun. Same. Same. And I have a, a few like um, not. I don't have a, a, a original D&D act like set up book or anything like that but i do have a few um i have a, a star wars one that's basically a it's a star wars role-playing game um specifically but when with Minfilia complete me the next one play runescape often but it's very laggy on my PC I think it's honestly just like or well it can be a little bit of a laggy game in general um because i think it's just like outdated and stuff um but it doesn't have wait do you play uh old school runescape or uh rs3 like the new one i guess that's the question i should ask
Hold on one sec, chat. Ah, so much teleporting everywhere. Not sure, but I think uh, this room dude I barely knew gave me his RuneScape membership account for free, so that was cool. Then one day I couldn't log in and he disappeared. I don't know what happened. I'm not sure, but I think it's the new one. Okay, so you don't play like the original. Um, that's the the lesser common one but i i've always wanted to try it out to be honest um runescape 3 like the one that's not like top down and stuff because that has like voice acting and stuff but the, the community is so attached to old school runescape that it's like i don't know i feel i i don't know how to explain like if everybody was super into rs3 then i would probably be more likely to play it too but everyone's into old school roomscape so i feel like i don't know that could work in your favor but against you as well nothing that works on my pc not even steam games Yeesh. sounds like it might be a little outdated <laughs> but that unfortunately that unfortunately that's what happens with time um, I had a similar situation legend actually, which is kind of funny um, Back in the day uh, My high school or whatever like when I was in middle school, that's when I used to play runescape a ton like a lot and um, And I would say maybe like seventh eighth grade is when I stopped playing as much and I started moving on to other games and just like whatever um but one day in high school i logged into my account and somebody messaged me because like i i can't remember if i logged into my account and somebody uh I can't remember if somebody was already logged into it or something or if somebody just messaged me and they're like like my password was changed so like when i finally did get into my account i was like okay cool like i i got in and then somebody messaged me when i got in they're like yo dude what are you doing that's my account and i was like and i knew the guy too i knew who it was i was like who is this and then he told me is this kid named Andrew and then I was like dude this is my account like this is literally my name and they're they're like dude this no no it's my account I literally bought it like I got it this is literally my account and I was like no it's not dude this is literally my like this is my name and everything and then it was just like a back and forth for like 10 minutes and then I blocked them and then that was pretty much it <laughs> And then I changed the password and ever since then I turned on uh, the uh, two-factor authentication. And I log into it every once in a while now. It was interesting. I was like, what? Like, how are you going to tell me this is your account when this is literally my name? Like, I created this name. Like, it was literally named after, after my dog uh, at the time. So I was like, dude, how is this your account if the name is literally my dog's name? Uh, it, dude, it was crazy. I don't know if he was just trolling me, which he might have been, but like I thought he like legitimately thought it was his account. Uh, have you ever heard of a game called Forsaken Worlds? Because it's super similar to Final Fantasy 14. It pretty much looks exactly like Final Fantasy 14. 
Uh, I saw, I heard it. Secret World. Um, I know that one. The MMO as well, which is another one of those games where I used to want to play. Or, well, someday I, I would like to play that game before it dies, but I don't know if I'll be able to, to be honest. Keep saying I need graphics cards. It's probably a pretty outdated thing, to be honest. Um, but yeah, that was a uh, very interesting. I will never forget though. I think it's going to be scarred in my, in my mind for the rest of my life. To be honest, I'll never forget. Yo, what's going on? Yo, Logan. Um, my first staff I got in, uh, RuneScape, I lost because somebody said they could they would enchant it for me. And I was like, it was my first 1000 gold and I bought a fire staff and I was so happy. I was so proud. And this guy came up and said, yo dude, uh, I can enchant that for you if you want. Like I can literally like upgrade it for you and just give it back to you. And I was like, what? Like, how does that work? And they're like, if you just give it to me, I'll just take it and then I'll just put, apply it and then give it back to you. And I was like, really? For real? And then he was like, yeah. So then I did it. And then he ran from me and I started panicking. Like, like this is like six, six or fifth grade me, like panicking, like, oh my God, no, no, no. And he ran away and he was like, haha, basically. And I literally cried. And I will never forget that. I, w I logged out the game and I was like, I never want to play this again. I don't want to play it. And then like a few days later, I went back in and like so upset. But I was like, you know, I, I'm just going to power through it. And I did. And then next thing you know, I had like 10,000 gold. And then next thing I know, I had 100,000. And I got my I got a new staff pretty fast. I was so upset. I will never forget being robbed by that guy. That's like one of my first experiences with like trolls online I've ever had being so young. <laughs> Literally. I remember as a kid playing this PC game called Club, Club Penguin. I remember playing Club Penguin. I never played it, but um my my sister did and then apparently my girlfriend used to play it a lot too and then apparently my girlfriend Sorry, i was checking to see if my mic was lagging because it looked like it was a little bit out of uh out of sync but it looks like it's okay uh but i remember i called someone a word that wasn't even a cuss word and i got banned yeah they used to have super super uh strict rules i remember people there was like a cop it was like a thing at the, at the time people would log in the game just to get themselves banned and like there was like record settings and things like that like there was literally like competitions on how fast you could get banned from creating your account like it was like a speed run where they would literally create their account Log into the account, verify the, or e verify the email, log into the account, say like, uh, F word, and then get banned. And it was like a record, I don't know what the record, record was actually, so I'm not even gonna bother trying to, uh, make it up, but I remember like some people having it with like under a minute type thing. I thought that was pretty funny. All right, so I guess I guess the fastest way would to be good go down here. Just follow the trail. And go south or just go straight up south. Yeah, this seems okay. Sounds like a huge waste of time. That's what people do though. <laughs> 
People will do anything to set records, depending on what it is. It was literally like a speed run. Like people would literally try to get themselves banned, themselves banned as fast as possible. And I thought that was pretty funny. But. Ay, ay, ay. see which way is the best. I think this is the best way. There's a game called Bin Weevils, which is terrible. Don't recommend it, but you can literally get banned in two seconds. Interesting. I think this is around the area where I stopped playing my other character originally. Huh. My my first cat. Yeah, this is definitely the area. was Final Fantasy 14 released? I think like 2000, either like, I think technically 2011. And then they, it, it, the game came out and did horrible. Um, and then they released, uh, they basically like scrapped it and redid a lot of things. And then they re-released the game. So they, they essentially killed the world. Like had this huge event with the world being destroyed and stuff. And then they rebuilt everything. And uh, the entire system like changed up. And it's like one of the it's one of those games that like launched horribly and then had a huge comeback. And it's pretty crazy like um, what they're able to do with the game being able to revive it like that especially like according to like the amount of uh the amount that people did did not like it what's your what's your favorite song what's the most recent final fantasy uh most recent one if you go by most recent like highest number and it would be Final Fantasy 15. That was the most recent um, Final Fantasy, but the most recent Final Fantasy game that was released would be, uh, oh shoot, I need to tune to this because I, I didn't. Uh, the most recent Final Fantasy game would be Final Fantasy 7 because that's a, but that's a, a remake. Um, since they built it from like the ground up, and that that would technically be the most recent game, but the highest number Final Fantasy is Final Fantasy 15 by seven release. This, I think it was this year on uh PlayStation 4. I just really, really, really hope that we someday get it on PC. I will wait out until then. Until then. 
it's the song that plays in Ishgard at night. I love the song that plays at Ulda at night. I, ac I actually like really like that song, which is funny. The other day I actually added it to my my Spotify playlist because of how much I like it. Get to the horizon. And say. Yes. It's an interesting mount there. I think it might be faster to take my my own mount compared to the uh, chocobo. Ishgard night beams just sounds so calming. I think the uh, the old uh, like I could literally go to sleep listening to it. To be honest, I love it. I didn't know that you played Final Fantasy Legend. You played uh, you still play it or? Has it been a while for you? The shirt is actually so comfy. I just got it today and I love it. Yeah, what's going on, Yobex? Ham Orang, best theme, ain't nothing like it. It's been a while, I was a tank in my group. What is this song? Let's see here. Are the Final Fantasy songs, are they copyrighted? That is a good song. No, it's because it's game music. Okay, good. I noticed a lot of people are playing game music as their soundtrack, like chill music in the background recently, which is pretty funny. Whoa. Plus 67. Plus 51. But then here I am just taking this. Wait, so... Real honest question. So, if I wanted to level up other th classes eventually, should I be taking this Al Alligan Silver piece? Or should I be taking these and just holding on to them? until I get to whatever class. I like the Nintendo Calm Water uh, theme playlist on YouTube. Great hits, to be honest. Hmm. Should check it out. Literally, I'm taking the precautions even now. Like, I've just been taking these things, but I don't even know where you use them. Currency minted in the third astral by the Allegan. Uh, Empire sells for 500 gil. I think I have tons of these then. That's the case. <laughs> uh, I have 27. Oh, wait, no, this is bronze. This is silver. The gear that I've had has been the best I can get so far for a while now. I still love the uh, the one song for uh, Old Da at Night. That's my favorite still. Ooh. 
Only 20 left. This banger, to be honest, I like some of the raid themes too. Uh, really good ones. Yeah, I'm just getting started with the uh, music and stuff. I'm trying to like get through a Realm Reborn so I can get to the the DLC content like almost as fast as fast as I can without skipping like too many primary things. But my goal is to stick to the game until I get to that. Hopefully, but I guess we'll see. I still have 80 days left as of today. 81. Wait, what happened? Sorry, they just purged you. <laughs> Living legend. I see your message though. Uh, one day my group wasn't online, so I decided to raid with the randos, and they bitched at me, saying I wasn't uh wasn't my job as a tank, right? Even when I was. Huh. It's interesting. I guess it's because you said bitched, but I don't know. Just like to accuse others when they're not doing well. True. Luckily, everyone that I've ran into as far as like uh, the, the quests or whatever I'm doing, I haven't really had any issues at all yet. Um, seems like everybody is pretty uh so far from what i've ran into has been like nice you know i always took responsibility when i messed up and let others hold their own jobs without saying anything i think the initial quest people will always be nice to you since they see you just starting out yeah i think that's where i'd be pretty messed up too if they saw like the the thing on my head but it, it seems like a lot of people still get that um like more people than i thought get the uh the thing over their head the little like leaf because i know i have it but then i've also like played a few games where somebody else had it and they were like leaving and i'm like how do you know this do you get that every time you start a new character I thought it was just something that you just, uh, like the novice network thing, you only get it when, like, you're using your first character. I don't know. <laughs> THHC. <laughs> Too lazy. Wee 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 wee. 
Ooh, boy, wee. Sorry, my, my voice like cracked like crazy while I was doing that. <laughs> hey, bot, look at me. It's the bot doesn't. Oh, God. <laughs> we don't say that here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that was pretty funny. <laughs> Time out, Yovex, too. <laughs> Hold on, let, let me fix that, too. Ten minute timeout. <laughs> Worth it. Ah. <sighs> Keywords. Uh, <laughs> number one is bitch. And then it's a lot of other stuff. Bad stuff. Very bad words. Very bad, very bad, very bad. And yeah. I'm going to turn down the timeout. Um... Okay. I changed it up to to make it a little actually wait wait whoa 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 hold up. Uh yeah I guess I should probably Yeah. Yeah 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 I guess. <sighs> guess I should leave it to moderator. I was setting it to high, what can be the highest, uh... Bad words. <laughs> yeah. There's some very, very bad words in there. Extremely bad, actually. <laughs> But I, I uh, not cleaned it up, but made it a little bit more reasonable, I'd say. We don't allow bullies here. Listen here, bitch. We don't allow bullies here. Bullies will be evaporated. They will not survive the night. Bullies, get out. Exactly. Listen here, you little bitch. Bitch. We're not gonna make it out alive if you try to bully. She'll just text me here, so I'm gonna go hand this in, and then go hand in my quest to open the door for her. IRL quest. 
Open door for a girlfriend. Quest received. I hope I get some good XP from it. Okay, back to this guy, back to that guy, back to this person, back to that person, back to over here, and then back to over there. Alright, BRB, one sec. <laughs> You'll get some calories burned, XP's. Oh. Bottom. Huh. Can I show a chat? <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Alright, I'm back. Quest, uh, quest completed. Calories burned. Alright, Chad, I'm just gonna ask, is it just me? Or does anyone else run up the steps? Every time. I don't walk up steps, I run up steps. Unless if I'm in a public setting, then I walk. When, when I'm home, I like, I sprint up that shit. Is that just me? Or... <laughs> walking up steps is weird? Okay, good, good. Whew, just making sure. That's why like half the time, sometimes I, I really sound like out of breath. Because sometimes like I'll run up the steps and then I'll forget something. So I'll run down the steps, and then I'll run back up the steps. Gotta make a gigantic steps up. <laughs> oh yeah, I know. Legend can't get up steps. True. Not anything. Not not in like the mean way. I know. But <laughs> no, nah, no, I get it, Legend. You're a funny guy. That's a funny guy, eh? <laughs> what? Yeah, no, I asked her if she had an extra. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like that's always like a like a uh, good outlook, in my opinion. Legend. Staying positive about that kind of stuff. No. 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 <sighs> Where did this go? There it is. Boom. Boom. <laughs> like a whole five steps at once. True. What I am out. Put away. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Uh. We travel back and forth so much. Oh my god. And this in. And grab that. Ooh. I can't believe I'm just now getting rid of uh what the heck. It's a chocobo in a Santa outfit. What? Kinda cool. Kinda neat. I also noticed that it, it seems like your chocobo actually, uh, when you're not using the combat version, that they actually go away and then it comes back out and then the time resumes. Unlike food where if you log out after using food, the food still gets consumed, which kind of sucks a little bit, but whatever. Outfit. 
Let it reach because it's uh, it requires standing. I just stopped and look up. Well, this is a problem. <laughs> there we go. Out here. Ah, oh, shoot. Wrong way. Back in. And now through here. Do I go left or right? Go left. So I, I literally used a broom to knock something down that was too high. <laughs> I feel like that's a reasonable thing to do though. Depending, as long as it wasn't like a, a glass or something like that. Improvise, adapt, overcome, literally. <laughs> Intelligence increase. <laughs> Nothing's breakable to see how it's all right. That works. Why not, right? All right, Wolfred. Question, Wolfred. Report to Gunnabald. I guess I'll just go over there. An interesting alarm, or not alarm, but uh, God, what is that? Oh God. They're giant. Just run. Just run. I don't look like, or I don't like how those things look. I don't look like those things like, but I almost said I don't. Yeah. I think that's what I almost said. <gasps> Finally, we can wear a, a cow. That actually kind of looks cool. Hopefully, I think. But that the only problem is it'll take away my headpiece. That's okay. Right. It's weird how it takes away your headpiece. Cause your I feel like your what your stats could be higher. Uh, try on. How do you um, equip stuff in your, I'm guessing it would be like, huh. Ouch. It's literally like shaking the microphone. Or distorting it. Car. Hey, hey, hey. Whoa, she's almost knocking my cards over. Hold on. Oh, 
dwarf. <laughs> Orc. Over here getting tongue tied on us. I think you're coming up on the first raid. Oh, really? Ooh. Like I said, so my first character was level 37. And right now I'm 33. Am I supposed to? Oh, there's a map right there. But I actually kind of like remember this. This area at least. The nice thing is once I do get past like all this, then it's going to be all new. Uh, new stuff for me Like I I only did this like last year for these parts So that one's pretty cool So it'll definitely be uh, neat changing it up Hi, 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 hi you gotta tell the youths to leave or ascertain the the youth the youths youths where are you at youths And I screw up on a youngins Yun. Uh, when I screw up on a word, I sometimes do it a few times in a row and I get so frustrated. I feel like sometimes I, I, uh, <laughs> I say a lot of things backwards, like a lot. Dude, I don't know. I think I had this this issue originally too. Oh wait, I always forget that you can go up here. Um, one thing this morning, I woke up and I'm pretty sure. So I used to go to like a lot of concerts, like a lot, and I'm pretty sure just like over the years, like I messed up my hearing pretty bad. I remember like probably one of the last concerts I went to it was so loud and I was like really up close like I used to get like front row not like not front row seats a lot of concerts I went to were standing but like me and my buddy would make our way all the way to the front and they're like heavy concerts like metal for concerts not like metal like boomer metal I mean like metal for like modern metal um so we would always go front row type or like make our way to the front it was especially useful because we eventually like started realizing that the fastest way to get to the front was waiting for people to crowd surf and then when they would crowd surf we would get i would get underneath them and then i would hold them up and keep moving forward while my friend would help me behind me or like sometimes vice versa um and then we would just stay underneath them to move to the front and a lot of times it would take only like three or four crowd surfers to get all the way to the front because other people couldn't carry them and it's hard to tell when somebody's coming behind you and then all of a sudden they land on your head so huh yours oh really my new headphones yeah, I see. Wait, what? It looks like somebody's at the door. Oh, it's just a shadow. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so like, yeah, I went, I used to go to so many concerts and I'm pretty sure now my, my hearing is, uh, pretty messed up because ever since like the last concert I went to, uh, I still have a little bit of ringing in my ear every morning when it like if I turn the fan off and there's nothing in the room I hear ringing like high pitch and this morning is very very apparent like I could really hear it this morning but then it was like the second I went into the bathroom or like did anything else like 
I don't hear it right now, but uh Yeah. I use earbuds and I feel my hearing going away. Yeah. I I never really like using earbuds personally, I never really like used to listen to music loud. Um but now uh like concerts or anything. I, I mean I'm I feel a little bit older to not want to go all the way to the front. Like I like going to chill concerts any nowadays. Um hold on, I wanna go grab these real quick though. And then we'll run this mission. This out now. We are back into it. Thanks, Windows. Thanks. Oh, you know what I just realized too? Ah, oh, crap. My pet is no longer with us. Well, not right here, at least. You wanted them until you saw the reviews? I saw the, um, Rachel made me look at the, uh, what is it? The Apple, what are, what are they called? AirPod Pro Max. Yeah. I have these Philips Precision over a year headphones. See, like a lot of these over the year headphones, I feel like a lot of them are not over the ear. Like they're just barely over the ear and it bothers me. Unless if it's like a gaming headset, but then, then they're actually like over your ears. Like the ones that I just got, they, they go over, but barely, and they like s squish your ears. Like when I think over the ear, like I'm thinking like comfortable, like over your ear um, and have a lot of space. Once, yeah, like the ones you said. That's what I would assume the ones that you're saying. I'm talking about like just in general, like a lot of other companies. But then again, like the ones that I just bought, they're 25 bucks. But, like I tried doing research and everything, and there's only so much you can do, which is annoying too. Hold on, let me check out these. I think we failed. High five precision. Those look comfy. Those are some interesting pads, too. They look good, though. Try again. Like, you know what's funny? Right now, I'm literally wearing, um, so I'm wearing the Audio Technica headphones, but I actually have my original uh, HyperX pads on them because I found the HyperX pads a lot more comfy and give more room than the uh, regular pads that they came with. And I even bought a second uh, pair of uh, memory foam padding for these as well. And they were there after, uh, I was about to say aftermarket, but they were made by somebody else. And uh, even they were like not, they weren't like oval. They were more of like a, like almost not a triangle. But they're pointy at the top and the bottom, so it felt even more like constrained. 
So I just went with sticking with the standard Hyper X ones instead. Jesus, dude. Yar! Hey. He's working a lot. use the left ear cup over my ear just a habit now i put both over my ear just feels weird and not good because i guess i'm not used to it anymore that's interesting i do that when i'm talking to people but that's about it the one thing i, I loved about when i did switch headphones and stuff um so for years when i was using my hyper x headphones i i wouldn't hear myself and I was so used to back in the day playing like playing uh, on Xbox using my Turtle Beach. Like when you would talk into the microphone, the microphone would pick up uh, you and you would hear yourself. So that way, like it didn't sound like you were talking muffled the entire time. So I was so used to that. And then when I got my HyperX and I moved to PC and everything, um, it was weird adjusting at first because I didn't hear myself so then I was just always muffled because I was talking out loud but I couldn't hear me um, and if you try turning it on on PC to like listen to yourself there's always like a millisecond delay and that would mess me up with talking because then it would be that millisecond delay that's not real time but now since I, I put everything through my mixer and I listen directly to my mixer, I hear the game audio, I hear myself uh, in real time. So it, it helps a lot. That's why like if I'm sitting back here, I, I can tell it sounds different than when I'm sitting up here, like right inside or right next to the microphone where it sounds so much better up here as well. It helps me get into the habit of like talking like actually pretty close to the microphone as well which is uh i feel like another good habit to have if you're streaming and stuff <clears throat> or just in general i love audio stuff though personally Now she's calmed down. With turtle bitches, I mean beaches, JK. But uh, but I remember just cranking full blast and jamming out to the music. It wasn't until just a, a little bit ago that I realized that I can specifically bump up the bass on my headset. Um, so I I did. And now there's like, if I listen to something with full bass in it, it sounds pretty good as well. It, it's pretty cool. But uh, I'm really curious about my, my buddy that did get the haptic feedback. They're like Corsair uh, haptic feedback headphones. And I'm really curious on how they sound. Um, because now I kind of want to try them out. You got the Corsair H HS60 haptic feedback. I don't know if they're, yeah, I think they're, yeah, they're not, they're wired too, but that sounds pretty cool. And the, the padding looks really, really nice on them.
for the longest time I listened to I was using like virtual 7.1 surround as well and then I started uh, using my headset without them and I realized that I think personally that stereo uh, a good stereo headset with good stereo like audio actually sounds a lot better than uh, yeah than uh, than 7.1 virtual surround when it comes to headsets at least um wires over bluetooth to be honest true absolutely when it comes to like gaming and stuff always uh, honestly i'm still wires everything um i know it's annoying and stuff or it can be but the only thing that's probably better like 100 better wireless is vr 100 percent wired vr is weird um i have i don't have like a quest or anything but uh it, it definitely feels a little weird when you run into that wire or like you have to kind of set everything up beforehand but uh everything else still wired keyboard mouse headphones Having to, to charge stuff is really annoying. Even though it's not like the biggest thing ever. Like the biggest, the hardest thing to do. Well, let me check, uh, can I sell things to this person? Nice. Uh, I guess this is the best route to go. Uh, the new PS5 Pulse 3D wireless headset are said to be really good. So we move pretty fast in this area. I remember back in the day I used to play uh, without a headset for the longest time. It was even <laughs> this is little me too, uh, but little me used to think that using a headset was giving play people an unfair advantage over audio and for some reason i thought that uh using a headset was like almost to the point of cheating because like you hear everything in your ears and i back then like i had my tv connected or my xbox connected to like a, t a regular tv and i had like uh these old um, oh shoot, I need to go up here. <laughs> I had, you just made me press the space button from your butt jumping into me. Uh, I had like uh, two giant speakers that like were attached to the TV via like coax or something. And I was like, this is the real way. This is the, the only way. <laughs> I was like, if you're using headphones, that's an unfair advantage because you're listening to the audio through your, like, there's only one way. Like, I'm sitting in front of TV and I have two speakers and that's how I can tell. And then I got a pair of headphones and I was like, ah, I see now. <laughs> that was literally like Call of Duty 4, like, days. Back then. I remember my friend always had like, he had his turtle beaches and I was like, man, yeah, but you have turtle beaches. I have just two giant uh, speakers that I use.
ding him for gold. <laughs> JK, JK. God for yeah, modern warfare. It is such a throwback. Oh god, they're everywhere. Wait, is this a level 30 mission? No, it's 27. Just this area is filled with them. But yeah, I used to think that was pretty funny back in the day. I was like... <laughs> completely different than what I think today. But uh, that's how that's how it was, kind of. There's a balloon. Ay, ay, ay. Wait, you do what in that game? Yeah, those were those were good days, I'd say. I do uh, definitely prefer a lot of the games that came out <laughs> come out today, though, compared to then. Besides, um, like Dragon Age and Mass Effect games, RPGs at at a, uh, at their core are like my favorite games ever. No doubt. I can't remember. I just remember it, it looked cool AF. <laughs> Always some good times. the mess. Ah, that's huge. Level 50. What? How many more do I have in the hunt? Thing. I have show incomplete balloons or wait it says show incomplete or more golems right, I'll get this one yes game I loved like was Medal of Honor I want to play the uh the new Medal of Honor VR game but dude no way in hell is that game worth $60. I think these AAA companies are insane if they think that their six hour game is worth $60 as a VR. Like VR, VR games are already a niche in themselves where they're not available for everyone. But the fact that you're going to put out a $60 or six hour game for $60 as a VR game, you're insane if you think somebody's going to pay that for full, full price. And there are people that do it, but then the, the game gets like negative reviews because they're like, yeah, this game was 60 bucks, but it feels like a, a like a B class game or something like I think all VR games like maximum as of right now, just until like the mass, the like everybody has access to something like that. Um, I think personally they should be more like $40 each like maximum I don't think there's a single VR game out there even for me F-Life F-Life Alex 
I personally, I bought that game at 60 bucks and I said, am I going to get 60 bucks out of this game? And I personally said no. So I refunded it after between like an hour and a half. Because that game is just like as cool as it is. I don't think personally I could get $60 worth out of it. Have you seen the system requirements for that game? No, I haven't. What uh, what are they? Are they like insane or are they like extremely low? For for the um. Give me a sec. Okay. Shooting a gun in VR just sucks in my opinion, or maybe I'm doing it wrong. I think. I think shooting in VR feels pretty good personally. Um, I, I do think a lot of games feel good in VR still, but it's just like they're, they're not at like a, uh, a point where they're like the same. Like, I don't think there's really a VR game that has came out. That's like the same as like a, uh, I don't know, like a full-fledged other game. I don't know. I don't know how to explain that. I'll check that out in a sec. minimum 2080 or higher 180 gigabytes to install wait is this real an i790 what no way no way for for the medal of honor vr game dude it doesn't even look that good it doesn't even look 1080 like i've seen like even seeing it like in the the trailers and stuff and i know i know it's hard to show vr games and trailers because it it doesn't like watching somebody play vr is completely different than actually being in it but even in the trailer it doesn't look that good how <laughs> i mean according to that i couldn't run the game good I have a, a 2070 Super and an i7 6700K. So according to that, I'm under their minimum requirements. <laughs> Super hot is, v is hard in VR in my opinion, especially sitting down. Yeah, there's, I feel like a lot of games personally, like although a lot of them and that's kind of an issue as well like personally when i started playing vr i did want to sit down all the time now I, I know in your case you really don't really have any other choice but i feel like a lot of games like they almost kind of force you to stand or something like it's almost like they don't have a uh an option sometimes And I'm kind of like, uh, what? Cause like, that's the other thing. It's like, it's not only just a preference thing. Like personally, at first when I started playing VR, I, I did want to sit and play, but then I realized there's a lot, like a lot cooler things that you can do. But then when it comes to accessibility, like, like I said, in your case, Legend, like you literally, if you can't stand, then like, why isn't that an option, you know? It's like kind of weird. Majority of your games don't have a seated option. 
really sucks to be honest, just for accessibility. Yeah, exactly. Like, like I said, I've tried at first, like I played one of my favorite games probably for VR is um, I don't remember off the top of my head right now. I think it's something out, not outcast. It's like outer outland, something like that. It's a it's like a tactical game. And when I first started playing it, I sat down. So like I would have the VR headset on and like you walk around. It's kind of like playing like terrorist hunt and siege by not siege um, and VR. So it was cool. But then like when people start going down and stuff like you can't. There, so there's like an, an EpiPen or something that you have on your chest. And if you take it off, and you reach down to somebody on the ground, you can stab them with it and they'll get revived. And you can't do that while seated. Like no matter, cause like, even if you try moving down, like for some reason it wouldn't register that like I'm trying to stab them because I'm sitting and the person is standing because I'm playing in seated mode. So I, you can't go low enough in order there's not like a button on the on the controller either to make yourself crouch to be able to stab them so like i would try stabbing and reaching for the ground and i would literally be touching the ground and it does it wouldn't work because you're not close enough to the ground so um yeah That's personally my favorite uh, VR game that I've I've played so far. That and some like some boxing games are really fun too. I was going to wake up every day and play VR um, as like my workout thing. I, I I still don't feel like I have enough room for that, and setting that up every morning would be a pain. But it can be like it, VR does a good job at getting people active. I think I think VR is like the the future for like ac activeness and games. I would say. simulator i haven't played that one but i've i've seen a good amount of times it's just like there are a lot of very good like vr games out there but i just i i think a lot of them are still like very overpriced for what it is Vader immortal on vr has an option to point and click to move if you would uh move if you're disabled which is cool i think point and click movement in vr surprisingly actually works pretty good a lot of times too because it, it helps with anybody that has like motion sickness as well uh just on on top of that like if you don't like moving around in vr uh that type of movement can help a lot I remember originally playing uh, like my first weekend that I got VR. Uh, I was playing the crap. I can't remember the name of it. The like kind of kid game VR. It's not kids technically, but uh, it reminds me of like Roblox, but it's not Roblox. <laughs> Everybody has it. It's like free to play too. Yeah, getting used to a moment in VR can be really sickening to be honest. But once you get it down, it's really cool. Yeah, uh, I was really nervous at first. Um, because I when I first started playing what game? Uh, shoot, what is it called? It's going to bother me if I don't. Uh, this is, this game's really good. Contractors. 
Now it's me. You guys are making me want to play VR. <laughs> Beef Simulator at VR. I haven't played that yet. There's a lot of free to play games. Uh, Zero Caliber VR. Uh. Crap, what is it called? It, it's like Roblox, but it's not Roblox and it's VR and like everybody has it. It's going to be at the top of my list here when I pull this up. Uh, maybe not, uh, not VR chat. Where is it? Everybody has it. Onward. This is my favorite game. That's the one I was talking about earlier. Where like I was trying to like go to the ground and I couldn't. Hold on, let me just show you real quick. Rec room, yes, 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 that's it. See, this is my my personal favorite game so far. Or in VR at least. Mixed. Why is it mixed right now? It's like Arma, but uh VR instead. Yeah, Rec Room is what I was thinking of. What's that contractors like right now? Huh. I've never played this one really, but it looks like it has a lot better reviews than uh, Onward. Should try it out sometime. Hmm. Actually, it has a lot of reviews. But, uh,. Yeah, I remember my first day uh, because I didn't want to spend the money on any games yet. So I pretty much only only played like Rec Room. And uh, I remember getting like really like moving around at first. So I was like, OK. And then all of a sudden, like it kind of just starts hitting you a little bit over time. And I like I didn't get sick or anything like I didn't like throw up. But I felt really sick and I put it down um, after like it was like I was in there for like six hours but like I was really taking my time like I wasn't really having a lot of issues I was taking it slow I was taking a few breaks here and there and then all of a sudden like it kind of started hitting me towards like the end and then I was like okay like I need to chill and then it, it really hit me and I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm done. I, I felt like dizzy for like the rest of the day. So like I even like laid down and stuff. And then um, the next day I went back in. I was like, OK, like I, I don't like how I felt yesterday, but I'm going to go back in literally within the first like 20, 20, 30 minutes. I felt like almost as bad as I did the day before. And I was like, oh no, like, am I going to feel like this all the time when I play now? Like, I was really nervous. So then I was like, all right, I'm just going to put it down. And uh, I waited a few days. I put it down and I was like, I'm just going to give myself a few days. I was nervous that I was going to go back in again and be sick. And like four or five days later, I went back in into VR and I was fine. And I, I haven't had a problem since. I was like, okay, I don't know, whatever I did, but I, I ever since then I have been fine, which is pretty, uh, pretty poggers if you ask me. <laughs> I was so nervous that I wouldn't be able to play VR again. Darth Vader in VR is intimidating, not gonna lie. I was like, this is where I die. Honestly, that's one of the things. The one things that I one thing that I haven't gotten fully used to yet in VR just yet is people getting really close to you. I still get a little bit of like a like a rush. Not like like sick. Or anything but like a like a head rush like oh god like there's somebody like right in your face 
even even though it's not like scary or anything like i still get a little bit of a like just a rush of like it feels like somebody is right there but they're not actually there of course um and that's kind of one of the things that i'm nervous about when i eventually do play uh uh vader immortal i haven't played any of them yet um i will say that i internet as it is having many downloads as it does uh i did download it but uh it kept crashing on me so that But I haven't I haven't gotten around to actually playing that just yet fully trying it out <clears throat> VR is really cool there's some days I, I'm like I really want to play more but then it's like ah uh, but then I have to set things up and then I have to move around and other stuff but I, I might play tonight to be honest after talking about it and stuff As weird as it is, like VR is kind of like one of those like fun things to do at night. <laughs> um, no matter what it is, to be honest, I will say I haven't fully understood at night at night. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I haven't fully un understood the whole like thing with VR chat. I like I've gone in a few times in VR chat and like I've gone to worlds and other stuff and like messed around and I feel like I'm just always ignored. And like I'm not like the most like talkative person for randoms like in a video game at least like I can talk to chat all day but like when it comes to like video games it's different in, in my opinion and like I'm not the most talkative person but like <laughs> I don't know how to explain it it's just like weird in a way like I travel to world to world I try finding avatars like I go to places and then I feel like I'm just like there, just a, a person. <laughs> yeah, VR t chat is just everyone doing their own bit. Yeah, like I even got some like some e boy like animes, uh, VR avatars and stuff, and and then I'm just like, okay, now what do I do? <laughs> I kind of feel like it has like this special like uh like VR chat has like almost like its own etiquette to it. Like don't go to my world or don't go to don't go talk to this person without this. I don't know. My first time playing VR I was actually trying to grab something that was in front of me. Uh in VR, but I grabbed it without the controller and nothing was obviously there and I was like, oh this ain't real. <laughs> oh, keep keep forgetting we have to go up this this tree this game isn't the best at uh telling you what's what's what for uh i uh, the map kind of just have to figure it, it out I'm honestly like amazed i'm even able to do this right now i feel like there's a lot going on even though there's not really is this the uh the first raid up here seems like it seems like it might be
Is that one of those games that you have to play with mul multiple people? I thought it was at least. Use duty finder for oh, mentor, manner. Okay, it's not, but it's okay. Well, yeah, I've done other dungeons, but it seems like this one is that. Um, did I already do this one? So yeah, trial of embers, PVP, gold saucer, guild hess. I have so many guild hests that I haven't done. Probably there's this one and then there's probably another like three or four. Uh, let's go knock this out while we're queued for this. No, you can play alone. Oh, really? I thought you had to play with somebody for that game. But keep talking and nobody explodes in the air now that the game now I bought keep talking and nobody explodes in the air now that game you can't play alone oh that's the one that I keep that's the one I was thinking of um okay then I I had a mistaken I was thinking of uh oh wait oh god of course the two quests I have available right now are quests that require, uh, you have to do stuff. So I guess we're just going to sit here and queue and wait. Let's see how many people are playing like a VR game right now. Pull up, uh, look at some steam charts, not steam charts, but steam games while we wait. Um, I'll hear the, the thing pop anyways. This game's interesting, but I don't want to pay that 40 bucks for it personally. Uh, Rec Room. How many people are playing that right now? And Contracts. Contractors. And, uh, Onward. Doing as a DPS has the worst timing. Yeah. This game looks pretty cool though. I remember when it, it came out. I never played like the first one, but it seems like me, like an RPG. I play as healer and the moment I, I hit Q, I would instantly get matched. That's the nicest part. So rec room, let's see. How many people are playing? 1,300. That's not too bad. What about VR chat? Oasis VR? <clears throat> Interesting. Is there any... Wait, let me check if there's any, uh... Like, good free-to-play VR games out right now. <clears throat> Same with Tank, you get queued fast. VR is one... Uh, it's just looking to become the next play Ready Player One. True. There it is. Look at this. That's insane, dude. Sixty dollars for this. What is this? That looks kind of cool. Power Beats VR VR Fitness. Dash Dash World. That looks kind of cool, actually. Grunch Element. House Flipper. <clears throat> Train Tramson. Somebody seems pretty cool. 
Realms of Glory. There's that one up. Uh, there's like a Blade and Sorcery seems pretty cool, but I uh, I want personally what I want is a VR game that has a story. Like I want to go into a game that's like a six hour long story. That's like uh, good. But I feel like a lot of these are just kind of like you launch the game. There's so many VR games, even like with the ones that I bought or or tried that are just like sandbox games. Like they they have cool concepts and stuff. But the, and the only things that like personally I've ran into so far is like Fallout and like uh, the other one that are like story based, you know. And then all the, like this, the story ones aren't like, I don't know, they're, they're expensive. Like they're very high, high up there. Dark Times, Thief Simulator, Creed is a kind of cool game. That one's kind of fun. Pistol Whip. FPS VR. House fun uh, or house flipper is a, a fun little game. I just like destroying walls and house house flipper. All right, so VR chat. How many people are playing right now? Fifteen thousand. That's crazy. But you can also play this without a VR headset. That's true. I always forget that. Oasis VR. So this is basically VR chat, but not two people. <laughs> Okay. All right, so like this looks good, but that doesn't. Like this looks good. This looks okay. Like it's still good, but do they have the minimum requirements on here? Ah, right here. That's still higher than mine, but this says GTX 1080 recommended that processor is still higher than mine though 16 our mechanics then to our phone did you get those pictures my mom sent Um, you know, it's funny. I just saw this game yesterday. The spirit, the barbarian simulator. I just saw it on, um, this one seems pretty cool. I don't know what it's going to be, but it just looks cool. Like that looks pretty sick. Um, tune my car. Roman Empire Wars. All of them. This even seems pretty cool, too. Huh. That's interesting. And then, do we be able to drive the cars, too? All Nation. Is this one of those like strategy slash looks like it Ragnarok it's called Ragnarok but I think you just play music our beats cool this one looks interesting it's like a VR Mario Kart, basically. <laughs> it's too expensive, though. That's great. Crunch Element. I love adding games to my wish list. Because I always see if they're, like, super cheap at some point. Cram Sim. Is that VR? Oh, here we go. I always clicked Withdrawal. 
Late party. Uh, in car mechanic sim, sometimes they don't tell you what's wrong and you have to literally strip down the car to find the problem. Ah! <laughs> what? Okay. Oh my god. Hey, uh... Yo, Bex, are you still in here? Or, well, Legend, you might know too. Is there a way you can see what this person... Like, I don't know what the logos mean for all the classes. Is there a way you can see what their, uh, their thing is? What, like, job they are currently? Healer is Astrologian. I didn't even know that was a thing. <laughs> Red Mage is another DPS. Okay. And Tank Unsure. Yeah, I saw that one the other day. I hate how it doesn't tell you what's what right here. Like... Cause that means that they broke their class broke down into something else, but that's not the same. Okay, so I see astrologian. Um, I'm an arcanist. Uh, red mage. I don't even see. Like I see red mage right there, but I don't see. Are we going this way? going on hello ah answer archer it's a logo change once you get to a certain level okay yeah that's what i figured like conjure is white mage wait really Wait, like Conjurer turns into a white mage? Is that correct? Oh. Doesn't one of the classes turn into two things? I thought it was like, maybe it's Conjurer that I'm thinking of. Is it Arcanist or Conjure? One of them, I thought one of them turns into like two things and you level both of them as you level. Like I have some healing abilities as a Arcanist. Conjure and Arcanist turned into Scholar. Oh, really? When do they turn into a Scholar? Wait, what? I thought it was only you hit level 30 and then that's it. And then now you're that class until, until the end. <laughs> They're mixing. Ah. Well, that's interesting. I'm so confused. <laughs> These jobs, like, confuse me a lot. Never got my Arcanist high enough to get into Scholar, though. Huh. I 
I do like the Arcanist bias though. I think it's pretty cool. I feel like I barely have any abilities, even as like a level uh, 30, technically. Wait, I don't have Bane. Class goal. Thirty-eight. I should have Bane. I need to do the. Um, I think the main, uh, the next class the thing. Oh God. I just want to be able to summon cool things. <laughs> Jeez. Ah, keep them alive! Keep them alive! No! Uh oh, I'm terrified. Us together. Oh. I got you, Kevin. I got you, Kevy. I'll heal you too. Ah. I can't. Oh no! I need to heal myself. Ah, oh, right. We all just return to the beginning. How that happened? Guide. I'm terrored. I'm terror AoE. Guess how? Do you stand in it? I don't know. How do you not use cooldowns? Don't question. I do what? Oh, what? <laughs> I'm confused. Interesting. I have no idea what's being said. Magical and range DPS. Physical range DPS. Melee DPS and tank. So the blues are always tank, the reds are always DPS, and the greens are always. Uh, yes. You can, so I can be a dancer and do DPS. That sounds pretty dope, if you ask me. Dance my way to uh, okay, let's just kill these the damage. Home is 30 is 42. What?
I feel like I've barely seen any of like the the special classes, like the DLC ones. At least from my from what I've done. Like I don't think I've ever seen a I don't know. I see. You just front loaded your cooldowns. Instead of spacing them out. No shade fam, just confused earlier. I used Ramper. I have IO too. <laughs> Like they're all just speaking. seen a gunbreaker or a dancer yet same i think well i know gunbreaker um and that's that's definitely one i would be down to try out too because i think that's that sounds i mean just in general it sounds pretty sick oh uh, wait i just realized that's a tank that's a tank class can you do D dps like if i went or do you have to do i don't know The rogue and the samurai seem really cool. Um, Lancer seems pretty neat too when it breaks into Dragoon. And then, oh shit, I just realized that. Sure. Did everyone? Yeah. Did they just leave me? Oh wait, wait what? Uh, how did they get back? Wait, what just happened? Uh, wait, what? Wait, where did they go? Uh, where did everyone go? <laughs> uh, you just return? Oh, okay. Or we'll run up the stairs. Ah, okay. Oh, okay, thanks. <laughs> I was so confused there.
Almost! Almost! Oh god, hectic. The visual, the visual effects seem so much worse than it actually is. Nice. Dungeon Master. Forty complete. took their stuff and left. I tried. What did you mention me with? Ha ha ha. One cannot help. I know Gunbreaker has a certain ability where the health dips to 10% or less and it basically scares the hell out of any healer. That's funny. <laughs> Ascension of the Twelfth Sword. Crystal makes you stronger. It chose well. A pity. Existence is insensible with your own. Alas, we came here not to play, but to measure of strength for Mr. Rebella. The task. I feel like that's very fitting for how they look. Very you will. Okay. Time to head back to Urdersel. Ern Sindel, I mean. I believe, uh, wait, where are they? Oh, oh, that's, uh, mm, let's see now. It's over in New Giradina. We'll head back there now. No. You're not allowed. We banished. <laughs> uh, I need to hand in this this quest chat, and then I'm gonna take a quick break, and then uh, we'll uh, play some more. Yar, hold on, one sec, Yar. Hold on, Miss. Excuse me. Wow, I'm almost at, at the level I was beforehand. Oh wow, there's a lot of new gear. Oh, I liked my hood. Break time. Burn Sandel. Report back to. All right, uh, before we go there, I'm just going to log out right here real quick. Uh, go take a quick break, and then we'll play a little bit more of this. So, BRB.